Hello everyone, my name is Ever Barbero, and today I'm bringing to you, example 2.2 in my textbook, Finite Element Analysis of Composite Materials Using ANSIs. The first part was done in 2007, but you will see that the APDL script works in ANSIs 2021 with just two modifications. In this example, I show you how to analyze this thin bracket, using manual meshing, which is antiquated with respect to using the GUI, or graphical user interface, but useful to understand that the ANSI solver, ultimately needs a list of nodes and element connectivities. First, I will construct the model forcing the GUI to enter the commands for manual meshing. Next, I could capture the script from the log file, as I showed you in my previous video, but I just use the script from my textbook, updating the element number and adding a line in the post processor section. Finally, I will run the script, line by line, at the command prompt of ANSYS 2021, for you to see how to debug a script, line by line. The simulation can be done entirely through the graphical user interface. In the preprocessor, we start by selecting the element type and formulation, plane stress with thickness. Real constants are used to provide the thickness of the plane stress elements. In material models, we provide the elastic modulus and Poisson's ratio. We switch to a cylindrical coordinate system, where it is easier to locate nodes on an arc. Define node 1, radius 20 mm, angle 180. Define node 10, radius 20 mm, angle 90. Fill nodes between nodes 1 and 10. Generate new rows of nodes increasing the radius by 2.5 mm per row. Back to Cartesian coordinate system, to define nodes at the top right rectangular region. Define node 15 at x equals 20 mm, y equals 20 mm. Fill nodes between node 10 and 15. Generate new rows of nodes by increasing 2.5 mm per row. Define element 1 by joining nodes 1, 2, 22, and 21. Generate a row of elements. Generate the rest of the elements. This is not the best way to build a model. For a better way, watch example 2.3. Next, let's dissect the script. The first line is the title. PREP7 invokes the preprocessor module, ET selects the element, plane 182, with key op 3 for plane stress, and real constant for the thickness. Next the material properties. 
Next, the shaded block generates all the nodes. Next, the shaded block generates all the elements. In the solution module, D, 1, all enforces a clamp boundary. Now apply negative pressure. Now reselect all the elements and solve. In the post processor module, set 1 last is the only line added for compatibility with release 2021. Next plot a contour plot of Von Mises stress, and we're done. Like this. Once we have the script, we run it like this. Any change in dimensions, material properties, load, whatever, modify the script and run it again, instantly. Or call the script from MATLAB to optimize any parameter, if you want. To debug a script, you want to run it block by block. Like this, copy paste the code inside the command prompt box, and press the enter key. Now you see node 1. Node 10 is hiding behind the ANSI's logo at the top right corner of the workspace. Now you see all the nodes in the arc. and all the nodes in the curved region. Node 15 And we filled that line with nodes. and we filled that region with nodes. Our first element. And eight elements are generated. The mesh is done. Copy. Paste. And press enter. The clamp boundary is now applied. The pressure is now applied, along this line. Finally, 
PLNSOL, produces this contour plot of von Mises stress. Ok, that's it for today. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, and click the bell to get notified about new videos. You can find more details in the textbook, by following the link in the description. Thank you.